Welcome to Square One Games. My name is Exonovan, and this is my road to completion guide for Kana Bridge of Spirits. If you haven't watched episode zero, do that now because it contains very important information about this guide. Link is in my pinned comment below. Take a moment to adjust your options based on personal preference. Select New Game and choose Master Spirit Guide Difficulty. Tap L1 to Pulse. Pulse allows us to solve puzzles, light up dark places, unlock certain collectibles, and trigger bombs. You'll become familiar with these features the longer you play the game. Press up on the D-pad and tap R1 to pop a trophy called Say Cheese. We get this for taking a picture in photo mode. R1 does light attacks and R2 does heavy attacks, but let's focus on evading for now. Spamming dodge or backflips will keep us safe from most attacks without the need for perfect timing. Obviously perfect timing will keep us safe 100% of the time. If we move Kana in any direction and press the O button, we'll dodge. If we stand still and press the O button, we'll backflip. Our health is represented by a bar in the lower left of the screen and depletes each time we take damage. Hold L1 to throw up a shield which absorbs attacks. Just keep an eye on the stamina bar located under our health, because once it fully depletes, we'll take damage. Stamina slowly recovers during fights. Running around enemies is another great way to avoid getting hit especially if you don't feel comfortable dodging or performing backflips. Light attacks juggle some enemies into animations where they can't fight back. 
If they counterattack, a simple dodge or backflip is usually enough to keep us safe even if our timing isn't perfect. I'll demonstrate this process later in the episode. The safest way to deal with enemies is to hit them once and dodge to safety. We can hit them more than once, but each consecutive hit puts us more at risk. Take a moment to get comfortable with this basic combat strategy. Check the top right corner and you'll notice a symbol followed by the number 10. Karma is earned by completing quests, defeating enemies, and a few other methods. Karma is used to upgrade our abilities and we'll need several thousand points of karma to pop a trophy later in the guide. Use Pulse to activate both crystals plus the floor switch in the center of the cave. We can unlock a trophy called Found a Friend by finding a rot in the forest. Rot are tiny creatures that can be used to move objects, solve puzzles, and even help in combat. The more we collect, the more useful they'll be. Activate the floor switch and follow me to the next rot. This rot will count toward the hundred we need to pop a trophy later in the guide. Rot number two is around the corner. Travel across the log to find rot number three. Check the chest inside the worn down structure for rot number four.
Activate the floor switch and grab rot number 5 from the cave behind the waterfall. If we position our camera at the correct angle, a prompt will appear in the lower right corner of the screen. If we press square, our rot will perform various actions. If you have trouble finding the correct camera angle, you can also lock on to targets with R3. When the rod is in position, press L1 to destroy the plant. Courage is needed for the rot to help us in combat. We can build up courage each time we strike enemies, attack weak points, or randomly pick up courage drops. Courage is tracked in the lower left corner of the screen by yellow circles just above our health bar. Attack each enemy one at a time to build up courage. This will also serve as an opportunity to practice dodging, blocking, and parries. Just remember that our courage will decrease each time we get hit, so be careful. I know this seems like an easy fight, but they can still kill us in three hits. These enemies are present in small groups for a majority of the game, including boss fights. This is our chance to master the flow of combat because they keep spawning as long as we don't destroy the plant. We can also use this time to unlock two trophies. The first one is called Triple Threat and requires us to kill three enemies with a single parry. To parry, simply tap L1 at the precise moment we're about to get hit. As long as each enemy is weak enough, the parry will deal enough damage to kill all of them and pop the trophy. If we kill more than one enemy, they'll only spawn in groups of two, but we can load our save and try again. If you have trouble getting this trophy now, you can always work on it later in the guide.
The Rot Commander Trophy is easy to unlock since the enemies keep spawning. Simply hit the enemies to build up enough courage, then send the Rot, wait a few seconds and the Rot will go away. We can repeat this process until we get the trophy. Now let's build up enough courage to use the rot to destroy the plant. Shift the camera until the rot icon appears and press square to have them pick up the stone. Hold L2 and position the blue marker on the ground. Press square again and they'll slowly move the stone into position. If you feel comfortable with combat, defeat bosses however you like. If you're nervous, follow my strategies. 
We can only block twice before taking damage, so it's best to dodge attacks. Practice dodging before we implement quick attacks. It's always best to dodge twice since the boss has a follow-up attack. When you're comfortable, add in one quick attack. This is the safest possible way to defeat this boss and most of the enemies in the game. Fights take more time, but you're relatively safe. Based on your comfort level, you can add in as many follow-up attacks as you'd like. You should only block if an enemy catches you by surprise. You can parry, but you need to be confident that you can pull it off, otherwise you'll lose stamina or take damage. The second strategy is to backflip. This move has a very generous window of iframes. This just means the number of invincibility frames within an animation where we can't be hurt. The trick for this fight is to backflip twice see what the boss does. If the boss swings once, reset and get ready to backflip again. If the boss swings twice, counterattack one to three times and dodge to safety. The timing is different for each enemy in the game, but it's a great fallback strategy if you find certain combat situations too difficult.
expect to get three rod automatically after the cutscene. If you want to get to the mountain shrine, our brother Tar was trapped. To Great idea, Saya. That help us free Tar, and we'll take you. Woohoo! Come on, our village is this way. <laughs> Follow the path all the way to the village to pop the next trophy. Kill both enemies up ahead, but do not send the rot to destroy any of the plants. Instead, create a manual save, then load that save so we can fight the enemies again. This is one of the few combat sequences where we can farm karma. Press the touchpad, look in the top right corner and you'll notice we have 55 karma. Our goal is to farm at least 100 karma so we can upgrade an ability after this fight. You can farm more karma if you'd like, but it's not necessary so to have a quicker farming spot planned in a future episode. With that said, you may want to have extra karma available to upgrade skills before I do in the guide so it wouldn't hurt to have a little extra. A reasonable goal is 600 extra karma, but you could go higher. It takes exactly 4,800 karma to upgrade all the abilities and pop the trophy, but we plan to pick up roughly 4,200 karma just for completing the game. Once again, farming more than 100 karma is up to you. After farming at least 100 karma, destroy all the plants in the area. Press the touchpad, select upgrades at the top of the screen, and upgrade Rot Hammer. Check the left side of the screen and you'll notice we picked up the mushroom hat. This was automatically unlocked since we discovered the hat cart during the cutscene. Each time we discover a hat cart, we'll take a second to check our hat collection. This will ensure we always have the correct number of hats since the goal is to collect roughly 50 to pop a trophy later in the guide. 
I say roughly 50 because sometimes the trophy pops after collecting 50 hats and other times it takes 51. I have all 51 in the guide, so no matter what happens, we're guaranteed to get the trophy. Grab the clover hat from the chest behind us. Grab the pot hat from the chest beside the hat cart. Now do another hat check and you'll see that we have three hats. We can find another rot under the blue pot to our left. Follow me down the main path and around the corner. The rot is under the rock. Go. Activate the floor switch and speak with the NPC to get Taro's mask. Look after Benny and Saya. These items can be used to locate collectibles, view memories, and open gates. Simply press left on the D-pad to use a mask. Use the rot to move the bucket so we can get the spirit mail inside the house. Over there. Now we have to deliver that mail to the correct box in the village to get credit toward a trophy later in the guide. This process must be completed 10 times to pop that trophy. Kill the enemies and practice using Rot Hammer. To perform this move, hold down R2 and press square. Remember, you need one full circle of courage to use this move.
The next rot is around the corner. Open the chest in the house to get the yellow mushroom hat. Blue plants are located in most combat zones, and this includes boss fights. As long as we have one circle of courage, we can use those blue plants to heal. Use heavy attacks to destroy shields. Remember, this can be done with R2. I know what that is. It's a forest tier. Forest tiers restore rot to their original form. The rot can attack enemies, destroy plants, and barriers while in this form. Control the rot with the right thumbstick, slam and spin with R1 and R2, and release the rot by pressing down on the D-pad. These controls are in the bottom right corner. Rot number 12 is hidden under the log. Right there. Use the rot to destroy the barrier hiding the nearby shrine. This will also unlock a trophy called Good as New. We have to find 24 shrines to pop a trophy later in the guide. Use the rot's original form to find the next shrine. We will check our collectibles for each region after we find shrines to ensure our counts are accurate. I bet a forest here can grow here. Currently we have 12 rot, which is in the upper right corner between karma and gems. In this region, we currently have one of seven rot, no hats, one of two shrines, and no meditation spots. If at any point during the guide, your collectibles fail to match up with mine, 
backtrack through the guide and use the timestamps to find what you're missing. See that over there? Hey, the little rock guys did it. They made another one. Follow me to the next combat zone. At the entrance, you'll find a stone monument. Make sure to get close enough to trigger the blue flame, otherwise you won't be able to fast travel to this area later in the game. Our plan is to activate more fast travel points so we can use this later to farm trophies. Make sure you're following my gameplay closely to get them all.
Destroy the barrier and grab the bow hat from the chest. Destroy the barrier to find the next rot. Use the mask to find the forest, which unlocks a trophy called Into the Woods. My name is Exonovit, and I'll see you in the next one. Be good. Mr. Russo can help us. 